Hi YouTubers, Eclectic Lil here. I am going to show you um, a thrift haul. Um, during the course of the week, um, I went to four thrift shops and a yard sale. And um, hopefully I can show it all to you in this video. I don't like to have the videos run too long because then it should, they should be short. So people aren't like, ugh. But if you're enjoying it and um, there's good stuff, I guess you don't care how long it is. Okay. So anyway, um, this one uh, thrift shop I went to, um, I found just a few things. And at some other thrift shops, I got um, some deals and discounts. So um, at this first thrift shop, I got these... Um, to me or to my, uh, they're like uh, luxury bags and uh, tra or travel bags that you could put your little shampoos and what have you in there. And it's to my, to me, sorry, um, for Delta. So it's probably something you got in first class when you traveled with them. But these are new and they're only 50 cents a piece. A lot of uh, items. Um, under this name go for big bucks depends on what you have so um, I know I'll get at least $15 or more for these and I'm offering two <clears throat> then I found this uh, New Britain um, that's New Britain in England overseas uh, that's their flag and then this is like new wallet um, it hasn't been used, and this was $1.50. Um, it's by Three Star, so I'm not really sure what I'll get for that, but it's new, and um, we'll see what happens with that. Then I found, um, I like to look in the sunglasses, the eyeglasses. Um, a lot of those could go for good money. Um, depends on what brand you get, but I found um, this case. And then these glasses were in them. These are called rimless glasses. And if you look on the arm of the glasses, you'll see the name. And, um, or sometimes up in here, you'll see, um, like if they're prescription glasses, what they are. But people that buy these will put in their own prescription. They're just buying them for the rims. So this was, um, Zeiss, Z-E-I-S-S, -S. Um, they're marked Zeiss West Germany, so um, I bought these for 50 cents, so these are selling, and um, they can go anywhere from 20, 30, 40, 50, depends on what you have, I thought this case was kind of cool. But that was exciting seeing that on there. And the case is really nice. So uh, that's what I got at that thrift shop. Then I went to um, another thrift shop. And these next few items I'm going to show you is from that thrift shop. <clears throat> so I picked up this uh, Fisher Price Ferris wheel. I love Ferris wheels. And if you turn it on, it works. <laughs> now it's going to keep playing. But this is um, Fisher Price. It works. And um, if you look on the bottom, it'll tell you the dates. This isn't a vintage one, but they're selling. I think this was uh, 2015. And people are buying them for 10 to $25. And I got this for a dollar. Um, then I picked up this nice purse. It's leather. It was only a dollar. And I love the inside. It's so pretty. Um, isn't that a pretty pattern? And this is by um, Max, M-A-X-X, -X, uh, New York. And it is leather. And inside you have the zipper, a little pouch in there, um, pocket, 
Then you could put your cell phone, your pens, um, else, uh, some other whatever, maybe two cell phones. Might be for a businesswoman. And then um, a place for your key. But it's really nice. It's great condition. Um, the color's brown with this lighter brown. These uh, come off. I don't know why you want to take them off, but um, anyway, so that was only a dollar. So we'll see what happens. Most of my purses I sell between 10 and 18. It all depends on, again, the uh, brand name. Um, then I got this cool uh, Pendleton uh, green tartan tie. And it's 100% virgin wool. So there's Pendleton. And the ties were a dollar, and these were selling for 10 to uh, 20 actually. So we'll see about that. And then I found this. Uh, this is Leoma Love Grove. She has a, a lot of different products, even clothes. This um, is uh, Pink Flamingos, appropriate for Florida. And it's called Pink Power. It's 500 pieces. It's brand new, and I got it for a dollar. And uh, so that was cool to find. And let's see. Then this was really neat. These are scented drawer liners. Um, it says Carolina because it was a, they were made in North Carolina. And they're 1965. Look at the cool. That might be French seen on there. And um, it has a foil back. And it just has just a little bit of cellophane falling down there. But I got this for a dollar. And I also got another one that was open. And there was like maybe five sheets left. And they still smelled. They're 1965. And they're potpourri. Says it on there. And on the side. That's why you should check out every inch of your item you buy. It says uh, Jack and June, Jane Hicks. The Carolina Soap and Candle Makers, uh, Southern Pines, North Carolina, 1965. So I thought that was really neat. So I got these for just a dollar piece. And like I said, this is not even open since 1965. So I thought that was cool. Okay, so I got this. It was brand new in the package. I opened it because I got to know what I'm selling. It was just a cellophane um a pouch with the sticky so you can unpeel it i need help because i sold a lot of vintage <clears throat> excuse me scarves and whatnot in the past i can't make out this name so if somebody and i don't even know if i'm holding it right um it's not sarah coventry i don't know if it's upside down here i'll turn it the other way um I have no idea. So if someone could tell me if they know um, who the designer is, I would really appreciate it because I can't sell it unless I know what I have. I mean, I could put it on, but I like to, you know, uh, have on there what the heck it is because, <laughs> you know, people want to know what they're buying. So then um, I went to a yard sale. And I picked up this, I thought it was so cool. Look at that. It's a chromo lithograph. And I thought this artist looked familiar. Not cool. It's entitled Lion. And um, it's by Louis Prang. Very famous um, artist. And this is about 1885. And it's uh, the publishing company in New York is uh, Belmer Hess. And uh, so it was a, it's a chromo lithograph. And I was excited to find it. It was only $2. But some of these are selling for, it depends on what this, what the images are what the topic is 
but it was uh, anywhere from like uh, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So we'll see, but I only got it for $2. So that was exciting. And then I got these other two watercolors by, um, they're by James Gray. He was an artist. He did um, watercolor oils, uh, uh, pencil uh, drawings and whatnot. And um, so I got two of these. They were only $2 each. And this was um, in Wisconsin, this scene. And it's called the Tenney Park Locks. And it has like a lighthouse and sailboats. And, um, you know, it's a date. It does, it's not dated. Well, I didn't take it out. Well, what I did was I did open the back to peek. Because I want to, like I said, I want to put the right information. I want to make sure it's a watercolor. And I peeked, and for sure it's a watercolor. And I put everything back exactly how it was. So that was for two. His art, um, he has a site, website. He does a lot of art in uh, Tennessee in the Craftsman's District there in Gatlinburg. Um, it's beautiful there. And um, anyway, so he has a lot of his art there, and but he does live in Florida. And his art is anywhere from $50, I saw, to like uh, $1,500, uh, and probably even more. I just looked briefly to just, you know, see who he was and all about him. But I've heard about him before, uh, James Gray. And then here's another one depicting uh, the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. So those were only, like I said, $2 a piece. Then um, I went to, sorry, that's my AC going off and on. It's a little warm. Um, I went to another uh, thrift shop. And I got these Amscan Uncle Sam uh, candles. And you can see that that's a mark of, like, that they purchased it in um, England. But those were only a dollar. You can see the price up here. A dollar. Those are cool. I might keep them. They're hand-painted. Um, but we'll see. They have uh, Canada, uh, England, and China on here. So those were only a dollar. And I got this cool, I don't know what the date is, but um, uh, Better Than a Letter is a trademark of Magical Ink. And it's a postcard. Look, the postage says uh, 55 cents. And it's an Easter egg. Isn't that cool? So I don't know, I might just keep that for, for Easter time, but that was only a quarter. I got this for myself. This is a uh, soy candle. It's uh, Miguel uh, Holiday Soy Wax Candle for body and soul. And it smells really good. It was only 50 cents. And these are going uh, for um, 18 to $25. And I bought it for, for 50 cents. You open it up, and then the candle's in there. It's new, it hasn't been used. Mm. I love soy candles, and you know soy candles, when you burn them, they don't uh, give off carcinogen, carcinogens, you know, the black smoke in the air. Um, so they're a clean candle. So that's the soy for 50 cents. And then I found um, this downtown Calvin Quine, Calvin Quine uh, body lotion for only 50 cents. It's sealed. And they're selling for about 10 to 14. That was 50 cents. And then I got these 
Gottinger candlesticks for um, two dollars, and I think they're silver tone. They're silver tone, I think. <laughs> they look gold and they look silver. They pretty, and um, one was a dollar, one was seventy-five, and one was a quarter. No. One was 50 cents, so uh, two twenty-five for these. So I don't know if I'm going to keep them or if I'm going to... I can't see if that's coming into focus for you, but it says Gottinger um, Silver Art on the back. So that was cool. Hold on. I'm going to put these down. Then, um, usually I look for glasses, but my husband <laughs> beat me to it, and he found these two uh, glasses. One's sunglasses, one's prescription. Um, they're made in Italy, and one is Jenny. Jenny. There's only one that sold for 20 And then these are Fendi, and these are all different prices. Mine are very stylish, and um, so who knows? Um, what I'll get for those, we'll see. And uh, they're only a dollar a piece. And again, you can look right in here in the arm, see the see the name. And I have a little eyeglass kit. So in this one, it's missing the little soft cushion for the nose. So I have a kit and I could just replace that. Um, and one more uh, thrift shop. I went to I need a bigger table. So I found this big fan and it has like this comes down so that you can sit in front of a fireplace and it's vintage and it's by it says uh, fireplace and background fans <clears throat> Airline Manufacturing Company, Carmel, Indiana. These are going for like $25, $30. So I did pay uh, $3 for that. Oh, and I failed to mention that at this thrift shop, in the last one, I got 25% off my total sale. Because of the young age that I am. <laughs> I got a discount. At first, they didn't give it to me, and my husband's like, oh, did she get a discount? Because, you know, he didn't know if I did or not. And they said, oh, well, you have to be blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then they said, I said, well, I am. And they said, what? They said, oh, my goodness, I didn't think you were, so I didn't give you the discount. So, anyway. Then I, um, so besides this, I got um, some aviator uh, glasses, okay? Now, one was a dollar. I don't know why, because they marked it in April. The other one was the end of March. This was $2, but when I got home, I knew there was writing here, like on top of the gold. I didn't know if it was like, oh, my hair's all like messed up. <laughs> I didn't know if it was, um, you know, gold frames or what have you, but um, the Ray-Bans, so I was very excited. Ray-Bans are a good thing, and these are vintage aviator glasses. Um, also, I got these other ones. These are Taiwan um, on there, vintage aviator glasses. But then I found these Spalding red, and they have little blue and white on there, and on the edge it says Spalding and Spalding. Uh, anyway, so um, these were a dollar, and they sell for $25, $30. And then I thought, wow, maybe I should keep them for myself, because I am an 80s girl. So I thought that was cool. 
to find those. Um, I also found this. It was on the counter, and it was set a dollar on the bag. I thought those animals were cool. They have rhinestone eyes, and then the clip in the back says "Made in France," and I got it for a dollar. Brought it to the register, and the woman's like, she was a manager, and she was like, a dollar. She goes, that's not even our writing. And I'm like, wow. Well, it was a dollar on your shelf. I didn't say that, but I could tell you a few other things, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be nice. So that was a dollar. And then um, I got these paint brushes, new in a pack, Royal Alang Nickel. And they're all media paint brushes. And I did pay three, so I might get like about, you know, 11 or 12 for those. Then I found this cool, it says Crystals and Candlelight, Glitters and Glows um, by Christian Reese Lass Lass Larson. Lasser and or Lesser. And I only paid a dollar, and it's new in the package. And these uh, one sold for 18 and whatnot. So, whoo, so that is everything. Um, so I think I got pretty good deals. Let me know um, if anyone knows anything about the um, scarf, because I can't make it out. And um, so you can hit the like button let me know uh, what items you thought were pretty cool and uh, subscribe and uh, you know leave a comment down below and my warm fuzzy for today is the best is yet to come always keep hope going okay everybody so have a great day ciao